what does being one of the last guys in that 18 class when it's senior day, when it's you know, one of those recognition days on Friday, what does be, you and Grizz, what does being on that group on the true seniors, you know, it's because Panay and yeah. Javon and Verone already had their day. Yeah. They, they, they did their thing. But what is being one of the last ones standing mean to you? I think it's big time. It's it's exciting. You know, it's it's a little emotional. You know, it's been a been a roller coaster up to this point. Been through a lot. You know, achieved a lot. You know, uh, man. it's kind of crazy. Honestly, at least for me, it's like a surreal feeling. Like wow. It's really the last home game for me, you know, so it's different. How is it different for you, Steven, that offensively, there, yeah, there was changes in head coaches, changing coordinators, but schematically, things were always still kind of similar. Yeah. Defensively, things have not been similar from when you started under yeah. Levin. So how is it unique to you to spend these six years and play for this many coordinators and different systems? And it's a lot of challenges. So, I mean, as time go on, goes on, you build better habits, you get better, you know, study habits, film recognition, play recognition. You understand defense a lot better. So each time I get a new playbook, I understand defense just a little bit better. So then it's a little bit easier to dissect the playbook and understand it. And just just each time kind of just getting a wash, but not forgetting everything that you learn, but like kind of washing it and refreshing. So it's kind of always been a lot of that, but it is definitely not easy. Definitely got to take great notes. Like I feel like I'm a great note taker and I feel like just up to that, up to this point, it's definitely been uh, not the easiest thing, but I've done it. Definitely doable. So, were you a great note taker when you got here? Is that something that you developed like along the way? Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I was a freshman, wet behind the ears, didn't know too much anything. Really didn't know formation that well, defense that well. I was just really just just raw talent at the time. So it just, yeah, no, definitely uh, developed up to this point for sure. Was there a coach or a, bit, or a coaching staff? that kind of helped that light come on for you? Um, for me personally, I would say they, they kind of all were like, hey, you need to take notes. But it's as you get older, you understand what you're writing down. Because before you're just writing stuff down, you really don't know what you're writing down. I like, honestly, unless, you know, just coming in, you just were elite, you know, might be, you know, coach's, coach's son, you might know defense better. But at the end of the day, like, like for me, I was just writing stuff down. Really didn't know what I was writing down. But like now, like I'm writing stuff down with a purpose. I understand what I'm writing down, what I'm writing it for. I'm remembering whatever everything I'm writing down. So it's definitely different. So what's the Civil War mean to you? You've been a part of this team. You played a lot of these games. What's this game this weekend mean to you? You know, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for one because it's the next game, but it's a big deal because um, it's always been a physical, tough game. It's never been. It's never been just a blowout game. It's always been a dogfight to the very end. Every time we played them, they always give us their best punch. We give them our best punch. You know, it's it's a lot. It's been a lot of uh, high temperature battle. My whole career being here, it's gone back and forth. It hasn't just been a, a whoop a whoop session at all. We've always went back and forth. So it's definitely definitely not going to be an easy game. But I'm excited for the opportunity. The way last year's game played out in the second half, just how much of a motivator has that been for you, for the defense, for this program this last? 11 months and whatever. Yeah, you know, that's a huge, that's a huge motivator. I mean, we had so much on the line last year and just to see that just in a, 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 a half, just leaves your fingertips. You had a big lead and we blew the lead. We didn't handle things that we were supposed to on defense. Me personally, I didn't play that many snaps. And it just, for, just for me personally, it was just, it was tough and, and definitely a lot of motivation going into this week. The receiver group, obviously a lot of small speedy guys with Irish and gold and bold and all of them. Like, but. What do you think they do that makes them so effective despite not having like that true X receiver? They are elite at knowing what their their skill set is. Like they they understand what they do well and they they thrive at that. You know, they they're really fast, really swift, quick, shifty, and they they excel at all those areas and they the the team utilizes them very well. You know, they put them on the special teams as well, you know, at the kick return spot and the punt return spot and they utilize their abilities really well. So do you see anything in their return game that makes them as effective as they have been, or is it just as simple as those guys making plays? No, I, th I think they have a good block scheme. I think along with their 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 playmakers making plays, I, I think their overall is, they're a good good unit on the special units for sure. What the mistakes of this one mean to you, particularly as a senior, Steve? Where it's win and you're at least in the conference championship, see if he's still alive. Lose and a lot of those things are off the table. So you're saying, what does it mean for me? Yeah, I mean, this team, but to you especially. So, so team. you know, being my last year, uh, you know, I've been to the, to the Pac-12 championship. I won Pac-12 championships. I've been to the Rose Bowl, and it's definitely, you know, I want to achieve something I've never done before. And we're we're able to, uh, like, we're in the position to do that. 
So, you know, it, it means it means the world to me at this point. It's like you only so many teams are able to be in this position that we're in right now. And we're blessed and we want to be able to take advantage of it.